Okay, let's look at some of the faces of ancient Egypt, some of the earlier dynastic pharaohs. Here's your sources. Early reserve heads, 4th and 5th dynasties. These are for princes and princesses. And of course, all of these early dynastic 3rd, 4th, and 5th really look very Caucasoid. There's nothing you could say about that possible. Here's Isis from the coffin of a 13th dynastic pharaoh. 13th dynasty. Predating the Hyksos or anybody ever coming into there. 1800 BC. What are these blonde haired guys doing mixed in here? Well, that's odd. Oh, there's another blind guy picking grapes. Word. Hmm. Look at these blonde haired people working. And these. That's amazing. All these are early dynastic. Here's 4th dynasty. 12th dynasty. Fourth Dynasty, Eighteenth Dynasty, Twelfth Dynasty, Eighteenth Dynasty, Nineteenth. Ramses. Smiting Negroids and others. Tutankhamun's wooden chest itself, showing him running over vile Nubian troglodytes. Even his sandals had Negroids on it, so he could step on them, even into the afterlife. Here we have a Libyan who is apparently blonde haired. Here we also have a Semite. Who is apparently blonde haired? Scribes, 4th Dynasty. 4th Dynasty famous. 5th Dynasty. 13th Dynasty, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes, 5th Dynasty. 6th Dynasty. Stare into the eyes. Of an Egyptian scribe. Rahotep and Nefret, 4th Dynasty, Cairo Museum. Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Noble Lady, 4th Dynasty. Nefertiti herself. Of course, she's from about, you know, 1330, 1370 BC, in between, uh, in the 18th dynasty. But uh, many black people claim that, oh, she's black, she's black. If you ever study Egypt, uh, she's a Matani princess. She came from Matani, which is way up north Anatolia, up in Greece. Matani, the Matani people. And the Colchians up there that Herodotus said were Egyptians. And that they had matched them. She's a Matani princess. In fact, her name designates it. Her name is Beauty Comes to Us. So the Egyptians thought those people were beautiful. And this princess is one of the beautiful, most beautiful of all. And indeed, it's the more lifelike, beautiful women that we see out of Egypt. And cheers for all mankind since found. 5th Dynasty, 4th Dynasty, 5th Dynasty, all of these scribes that are mixed in here, it's incredible.
Have you seen one that didn't look Caucasoid yet? Oh, you could try to put a twist on a few of them, I think. But no, you can't. Especially with things like this that stare you in the face. Because... Da -da -dum, dum dum Another one bites the dust. That looks like Freddie Mercury. Fifth Dynasty. Ranifer, Fourth Dynasty. This is Himwenu. He is the architect of the Great Pyramid at Giza. Fourth Dynasty. They show him realistic. Got a bit of a fat chin. Got a little bit of man boobs going on. Quite healthy. A lot of the scribes are shown more realistic. With not so much of a idealistic impression. Hmm. Yeah. Don't think so. And even though they show males that are tanned from being out in the sun and doing all the work, the females are pale, signifying they didn't have to work. And the men did all of the work. It's a family union thing that black people today couldn't mimic anyhow in their skin whatsoever or in the edict where 72% of black families here in America right now in 2018 are actually single black mothers because they don't quite have the marriage union thing down just yet. They're all too busy trying to be players. Ketep and the fairies. Akhenaten and his wife. Bearers through the 12th dynasty. Twelfth Dynasty, 700 BC, and a female's head from somewhere in between 600 and 1600 BC. An incredible representation. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and enjoy. We'll have more coming at you soon.